Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Welcome to Angel Love Tarot. Today I am going to do a love reading for Leo. This is going to be for the second half of March. Remember the timing is flexible and um, this is a general reading. So if you need something more specific, my information is in the description box. This will be for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Uh, if you'd like to check out my other videos, there may be messages um, in there for you for your other signs. Um, uh, you can check out my playlists. I also have timeless readings in there, or you can just look through my video selection. And uh, also, if you enjoy my readings, please subscribe, like, and comment. I appreciate it. That's how I get my feedback. And if you're new to my channel, I do the first half of the reading is with the tarot cards. The second half um, is the oracles, and I do a pick an angel reading. So basically, there's three stacks here. Each one has an angel, and you pick which one you're most drawn to, and that stack is going to be the messages for you. So the first stack um, is the masculine angel. The second stack is the feminine angel. <clears throat> And the third stack is the baby angel. Okay, so, all right, let's get started. I'm gonna shuffle a couple more times and then we'll cut the cards. All right. Okay, thank you angels and spirit guides for your guidance. Please tell us, what does Leo need to know regarding love? Second half of March. Please tell us, what does Leo need to know? Let's get three cards, please. Three cards. What does Leo need to know? Okay. Looks like I may have a little bit more than three, but that's okay. <clears throat> All right, Leo. So what I'm seeing here is I see here that um, the first card that came out is the Three of Swords. So I feel like some of you have gone so, so, through some recent um, heartbreak. Um, this could be in the past as well, but I feel like most of you, this is going to be a, some recent heartbreak. Um, but I feel like you're, you've healed um, at, or you're in the process of healing from this heartbreak. Okay, so um, I feel here like you're not in the center of it right now. I feel a lot of you um, are moving on with your life. Okay, you're moving forward. This can be cancer energy here with the chariot. Okay, so there could be somebody in your life who's a cancer. But um, I feel here that you're moving forward. Okay, so I feel like you're moving forward past this. Um, heartache. I feel that you're taking control of your your life and your emotions. Um, you know, slowly healing um, and really just focusing on you. Okay. Um, for some of you, you know, you also may be thinking about purchasing a car. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing there. The next card that came out is the Eight of Wands. Okay, so I'm feeling here um, a couple things. Some of you may be doing some travel, um, you know, not really thinking about someone new coming into your life or, um, you know, maybe this person um, from the past that gave you some heartache. Um, maybe you're still hoping to hear from this person. But either way, I feel here that you may be doing some traveling or thinking about doing some traveling, and I feel like it's, that's going to happen pretty quickly here. Um, the other thing I'm feeling here is I feel there could be somebody um, either new or in your past um, reaching out to you, okay? Because the next card that we have is the Knight of Pentacles, okay? So I feel there could be somebody... Um, I didn't mention with the Eight of Wands, it's fire, it, fire energy, so that could be you, Leo, but it can be Aries or Sagittarius as well. Here we have Earth energy with the Knight of Pentacles. That could be Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, okay? So I feel here somebody um, actually might reach out to you, um, might have a message for you, 
um, or you may meet someone while you're traveling, but I feel someone is coming towards, towards you and I feel like this person wants an opportunity, okay, to maybe meet up or go out on a date. Um, now this is the Knight of Pentacles, so I feel like this could be a new person or this can be somebody you already know. Um, but whatever the case, I feel like this person is going to take things slowly because the Knight of Pentacles is, is slow movement here. Okay. So I feel the Eight of Wands is usually fast movement, but I feel that that is, um, how fast the message is coming through or the person's going to contact you. So I think that's going to be pretty quick, um, as far as the message. Okay. All right, let's get one more shuffle in and we'll cut the cards. Okay, I hope everybody's staying warm out there because it seems very cold everywhere. Everywhere it's cold and I'm being a baby. I'm in California. I'm not used to this cold weather, um, but I know it's much worse other places. So, okay. All right, thank you, angels and spirit guides, for your guidance. Let's see here, we're already dropping cards out. Let's get one more card, please. One more card, what can you tell Leo? What does Leo need to know regarding love for second half of March? There it is. Okay. So with the Four of Cups here, I feel like some of you are still focused on this person from the past, or this also can be about fears um, from heartbreak in the past, but I feel like there's a lot of focus on this heartbreak right now, okay? So I feel for a lot of you, there may be other opportunities out there. You can see there's three cups behind her, okay? But she's not really focused on them, okay? So I feel for a lot of you, there may be other opportunities around you, but you're just not seeing it right now, okay? I feel like you're you're focused on this heartbreak or this situation, okay? Um, it could be with this person in your life. The next card that came out is the Two of Pentacles. So like I said here with the Chariot, I feel like a lot of you are moving forward, taking control of your life. You're moving on after this heartbreak. But I feel here you're up in the air about something still, okay? You're either, this can also be about juggling your finances, okay? I said I feel that some of you may be purchasing a car, okay? But this um, may be more so about you juggling um, different things in your life, okay? Or juggling your finances here, okay? The next card that came out is the hangman, okay? So um, eight of wands here, I said I felt someone... Um, is going to reach out to you quickly or some of you may be doing some travel okay so the hangman can off, often um talk about uh you know delays okay um but i don't feel like this is a delay um i feel here <clears throat> i feel here like i said i feel like you can be juggling different things and I feel like there may be things that are distracting you and may hold you up so I guess that can be a delay here um with this person um and also too with you focusing on um this past situation here this heartache um I'm feeling here too that can delay this situation as well all right, so the next card that came out is the Seven of Swords, okay? Came out with this Knight of Pentacles. It said, I feel like somebody's going to reach out to you, okay? So this is the kind of message I don't like to deliver, but I feel like this person, the Seven of Swords energy may not have the best intentions, okay? Um, so just be cautious um, when this person reaches out to you or you meet this person, okay? Because I feel here... This per per person may not have the best intentions is what I'm seeing so far. All right. Thank you, angels and spirit guides, for your guidance. Please tell us what Leo needs to know regarding love, second half of March. Please tell us what Leo needs to know. 
please tell us what the yeah needs to know. We got too many cards there. I'm seeing somebody left you out in the cold, though. There's one. Let's get three more cards, please. Three more cards for Leo, second half of March. Oh, there's a flipper there. Let's get one more card. One more card. It's too many. Yeah, I feel like a lot of you are, there's a decision that you need to make. You're going to be at a crossroads about something. Let's get one more card, please. One more card. Thank you, angels and spirit guides, for your guidance. There it is. Okay. All right, so I feel like this is somebody in your life. I feel like for a lot of you, this is somebody that you were either married to, okay, or you wanted a commitment from, okay, this past heartache, all right? I feel like a lot of you are still focused on this person, okay? Um, so I feel like this is either about somebody being noncommittal or this is about a marriage that ended, okay? And I feel like you're trying to move forward um, with your life, and I'm seeing here with the Knight of Wands, okay, and if I didn't mention it, the, the Hierophant can also be a Taurus energy here. But um, with the Knight of Wands here, I'm feeling that this is somebody um, in your life that has not been very consistent, okay? And I had just said as I was shuffling, I saw the Five of Pentacles, so I saw that, you know, there's definitely somebody who has left you out in the cold, okay, on more than one occasion. Um and that makes sense because here with the Knight of Wands, um, we have somebody who is not very consistent, okay? So I feel here you're trying to move forward with your life, but I feel here you're going back and forth because this person is probably popping up now and then. They're here and then they're gone. They're here, then they're gone again. Um, so I feel like you're back and forth, okay? And that's why I'm seeing here that that's why we have the Four of Cups. I feel like you are um, still focused on this person, okay? Now the next card that came out is the Three of Wands, okay? So I definitely feel here that some of you are waiting for the opportunity for um, this person to reach out to you, okay? And looking at the other cards here, I feel here that um, um, this person, I feel like you want this person to reach out, but it's it's been delayed for some reason, okay? So that's what the delay was about, is you waiting for this person to reach out to you, okay? For some of you, I do feel, I feel for some of you that, you you're you know you're kind of over it and you just want to move on okay and some of you are just um, going to be traveling okay getting away <clears throat> uh, the next card that came out is the knight of swords okay so again so I feel like this person okay may not have the best intentions I had said this person is here one moment gone the next okay inconsistent which goes with this knight of wands because i always see this knight of wands as someone who has to rush off they, they're they're always busy they're always in a rush um you know i feel like this person may tell you oh i have to go help somebody do something uh, i you know i can't make it tonight that's what i'm seeing there with, with those cards all right we're going to keep going all right, thank you, angels and spirit guides, for your guidance. Please tell us what Leo needs to know. Ooh, second half of March. Please tell us what Leo needs to know. Let's get two more cards, please. Two more cards. And if I didn't mention it, we have the swords energy, which could be... Uh, Aries, I'm sorry, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Okay, yeah. 
So like I said, I felt like some of you, this could have been a marriage that ended here with the death card. Um, for other of you, I feel like a situation between you and another person ended because of lack of commitment here and this person being consistent. Okay, so yeah, what I'm seeing here with the Queen of Wands, I'm seeing that um, you have been very, I feel here you've been very accommodating to this person, okay? You, I feel like you have been more so um, initiating contact or um, trying to be available for this person and this person like I said has not been consistent they've been in and out of your life and I feel here because they're there sometimes that's why you're going back and forth trying to decide what to do here the next card that came out is the queen of cups okay so I feel here you know because you're so kind and giving I feel here um, I feel with this queen of cups energy I feel like you've definitely been waiting okay for this person i feel like like i said we have four cups energy i feel here you're waiting for this person you're waiting for the opportunity for this person to reach out to you oh and this is the part of my job i don't like um the final card that came out is the three of swords because so i feel definitely i feel like this person's going to continue to hurt you Okay, I feel like this person's going to um, continue to bring heartache. Okay, and I feel, and I, I feel that strongly only because the first card out was the Three of Swords. Okay, and the last card out was the Three of Swords. Okay, so I feel. You know, if you're wanting the same person to come back in your life, I feel like they're not going to change, okay? I feel like this person is going to bring you heartache, all right? But if you are wanting a new person to come back into your life, I feel here, um, I feel here that you will move on past this hurt, okay? I feel here there will be a, a new, um, you know, with endings, there's always new beginnings. So you can see, they're seeing the light, okay? So after an ending, there's always the light. There's always a new beginning, all right? Okay, so we're going to move on now to the Oracle card portion of the reading. So the first stack is... Um, this is the feminine angel. I'm sorry, I'm just looking at this card or at the cards again because I'm feeling another message here. Okay, so I'm feeling here. I'm feeling this could also be a third party situation. Okay, with the two energies here, Queen of Cups and Queen of Wands. Okay, so um, for some of you, I feel like this person, that's why they're not consistent. I feel there is another energy around them, and that's why they're not consistent. Okay, and like I said, I feel like they're having to rush off. They're not having the best intentions. Okay, and that's why they're moving very slow with you. All right, let's see what the Oracle cards say. Okay, so the first two cards that say um, Romance Angels. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Make the effort. Oh, so I feel here a lot of you do still want to make the effort um, in this situation. Okay. Uh, positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Stay optimistic about your love life. So this is about putting positive intentions um, into the universe. Okay. For some of you, um, you know, like I said, you know, you may be over this situation. Okay. And you're wanting someone to come in um, for you. Okay. So this is about being optimistic. The next card that came out from Angel Answers is Remain Positive. Okay, so this is your angel saying remain positive in the situation. Okay. 
The next card that came out is opportunity. Okay, here. Here's opportunity. Here's uh, basically abundance falling into your lap here. Okay, so if you'll hear your angels are saying there's something else to look forward to here. Okay, this can be a financial windfall that you receive. You might be receiving um, some money. Um, this can also be about love and abundance as well. So this, um, like I said in the beginning, I feel like there, there may be somebody new coming into your life as well. If you don't want to receive this person back. All right, so the next uh, card that came out is a message from the Lovers Oracle deck. It says, when you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. Okay. <clears throat> All right, now the next um, card that came out is from Archangel Michael, and um, it's called Sense of Humor. All right, and I'm not going to read it from the book right now because I just realized that my book is in my purse. <laughs> I actually, there was somebody that really needed to hear a message and I brought my book with me today and I left it in my purse. So anyway, so this card is about um, Archangel Michael saying that things can be very serious and very intense and sometimes we just have to look at a situation with a sense of humor. We just have to look at it like, you know, I know this is just very serious, but if you can find some laughter in the situation, um, sometimes the laughter can just break the ice with somebody, okay? If you and this person are, you know, fighting or arguing or not seeing eye to eye, sometimes you know, a joke or laughter can just open things up for you, okay? And I'm going to read the, par the prayer for you. It says, Thank you for helping me see the humor in this situation so I can lovingly laugh at human nature. I am willing to view my experience in a new light in order to attract love and healing energy, okay? Yes, so laughter attracts love and healing energy. All right, beautiful message there from Archangel Michael. I hope you enjoy it. I'm going to move on now to the Feminine Angel. And so, yeah, so I'm definitely feeling here, um, I'm definitely feeling here, uh, twin flame relationship in this read okay and then here we have I just pulled it out first your passion ignites with twin flames okay so I am definitely feeling here there might be a lot of you who are in a twin flame situation you know like I ex explained I feel you know there are two um, energies here um, that can be significant of a, a third party situation okay the first two cards that came out from the Romance Angel deck is Allow Your Heart and Soul to Sing with Joy, Passion. Okay. The next card is As You Release and Heal the Past, You Experience More Love in Your Present Moments, Forgiving and Learning. All right, from Romance Angels. And then the next two cards from the Angel Answer deck, um, one is compromise, okay, and balance, okay, so this is about bringing balance into your life, um, like I said, I feel like a lot of you are trying to move forward from this, okay, um, I feel like a lot of you are moving forward and healing, um, and you know, I feel like a lot of you are just trying to bring balance in the situation. I feel like your angels are saying, yes, you're going to receive balance. All right. The next card that came out is improving health. Okay. So this is about taking care of yourself. Okay. During this time, this may be a very, very difficult time for you. So try to focus on doing things that are good for you or make you feel good. 
Um, you know, like maybe you want to do some exercise or get outdoors, eat healthy, um, maybe do some spiritual work, some meditation, some healing. Okay, so angels are recommending that. Oh, and then, then the next card that came out is a message from Archangel Michael, energy healing work. So that's exactly what I was just talking about is about um, improving your health. You may need to get some spiritual heal healing work. You know, you may want to seek a Reiki practitioner, okay? Um, clearing out maybe um, your heart chakra, okay? Healing from these past hurts, all right? So um, the message here from Archangel Michael, and the, I'm sorry, the prayer is, Thank you for sending healing energy to me and through me for my own blessings and for all those around me. Thank you for connecting me to loving and high integrity healers and teachers of energy healing modularities. So yes, beautiful message there. I apologize. I don't have my book. I uh, left it in my purse because someone needed a message from me. So, all right. So we're going to move on now to the third stack. Um, which is the baby angel. Okay. So, okay, the first card that came out from the angel answer deck is let go. Okay, so I feel here, for some of you, this may be you need to let go of this relationship, okay, or connection. Um, for some of you, this may just be you need to let go and let go of the control, okay? So let go um, and let things play out how they're supposed to play out. Like I said, I feel here there's a lot of pain and, um, you know, heartbreak here, okay? So some of you are just going to have to let go of the situation. Um, and if you're still going to want to continue the situation, I feel you just need to let things play out divinely how they're meant to be. If not, you're letting go of the situation entirely and bringing newness into your life, okay? And um, I feel for a lot of you that's going to happen because the next card that came out is Big Happy Changes. So definitely your angels are saying there's big happy changes coming into your life, okay? So that's a beautiful message there. The next card that came out is the situation is calling for you to have faith, trust. Okay, so I feel here, no matter what happens in the situation, you need to have faith and trust that things are going to work out for your highest good, okay? Whether you're meant to be with this person or you're not meant to be with this person. The next um, card that came out is it's time to take back control of your life, free yourself, okay? So I feel like um, this person in your life or this situation has made you feel stuck okay, has made you feel in a stagnant place, okay, so this is a, a message to you from your angels that really it's you who can get out of this, okay, you have the free will to move forward, you have the free will to let go, okay, all you have to do, this unicorn's in a, a corral, okay, and it's not very tall, the unicorn just has to stand up and jump over the corral, okay, it's your, um, it's your mind, mind um, and your thoughts and your free will to do what is in your best interest, okay? So you have the power to move forward and take control. And like I said, I feel here you are, you want to take control, okay? And this might be about why you're going back and forth trying to figure out how you're going to move forward, Okay, all right, so the next card that came out um, is from the Lover's Oracle deck. It says, Surrender. At times we must surrender the old before something can enter, something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. And yes, that's what the message you just had was let go. Okay, you need to surrender. And then if you can do that, that's when the change is going to come. That's when the big happy changes are coming. Okay. 
All right, and I wow, the, the cards are just so on point here. The card that came out for you, the Archangel Michael card, is it's time to leave an unhealthy situation. Okay, so this speaks to if the situation is very toxic to you, okay, it's not serving you, it's not making you feel good, okay, um, then that's a big indication that this is something that's not, you know, in your best interest. And like I said, we started out with the, the Three of Swords and we ended with the Three of Swords. I feel here this situation is not serving you, this is just bringing you heartbreak. Okay, so the prayer here, if you want to say it along with me, is Archangel Michael, what parts of my life do I need to focus on more closely right now? Thank you for helping me hear your answers and for giving me the courage to make healthy changes in my life. Okay, so beautiful message there from Archangel Michael. So on point with this reading. All right, I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, please subscribe, like, comment. I appreciate it. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening, and I'm sending you angel love.